Congratulations on acquiring the Hoya Freeform Company's proprietary measurement and ordering app, Spectangle. Let's spend a few minutes together becoming familiar with the simplicity of using this sophisticated tool. Begin by pressing the Freeform button. This places you in the measurement mode. Now we can take the necessary patient photographs for the ultimate personalization of Hoya's My Style lenses. First, let's take the photo for pentoscopic angle. Press within the blank area under pentoscopic angle and a full pentoscopic angle screen appears. Press the camera icon and position the patient. While learning positioning, you can use the shadow button for assistance, although this feature is not mandatory. Press the camera icon and begin to level the iPad. As soon as the level reaches zero, the camera automatically snaps the photo. You can either use the photo or retake. Press within the small box at either end of the vertical red line until it turns green, then drag the green line to position on the proper angle of the frame. You can enlarge the photo for precise positioning as shown. Once satisfied with the proper angle, press the close button. Let's move on to face form angle. Press within the face form angle space. Position the patient so that the photo is taken viewing the top of the frame. Press the shadow button for proper positioning and take the photo. Once again, touch within the boxes on either side of the horizontal red line until it turns green and position the line on the top of the frame in front of the patient's pupil. The lock on tool you see allows you to take measurements in millimeters and is required in the photo taken for back vertex distance. Provide the lock on device to the patient and press the shadow feature. Position the patient and lock on device whereby the patient is holding the lock on device level as shown and press the camera button. Now, using the photo just taken, press on the red vertical line until it turns green and drag to position on the back side of the lens. Press on the half circle red line until it turns green and drag to the front of the cornea. You may enlarge the photo for better positioning. Now, tap on the small horizontal black box on the lock on tool. A yellow X will appear in the black box. You may need to re tap on the small black vertical box to ensure the yellow X is positioned on the small black box. The measurement appears on the bottom of the photograph. We will use the lock on tool for the next photograph. You only need to take one photo for measuring PD, A, B, DBL, and seg height. Once taken, all three of the photo placement boxes will appear with the same photo. Have the patient hold the lock on device with both hands as shown. Position the patient approximately arm's length away from the camera. The iPad camera lens is offset, so position the camera lens on the nasal bridge and have the patient look straight ahead. Use the shadow button if necessary and snap the photo. Again, once you become familiar with the positioning, you do not have to use the shadow button. It's there as an option to help you position the patient. Tap the large black box to lock on. A yellow X will appear in the box. Enlarge the photo and begin adjusting the seg height. Touch below the vertical red line until it turns green, then drag and position at the bottom of the frame. Touch above the vertical line until it turns green and position at center pupil. Repeat with the other eye. When satisfied, touch the close button and move on to A, B, DBL measurements. Touch the A, B, DBL photo space to enlarge the photo. You do not need to tap on the lock on device for this measurement. No yellow X will appear. Touch within the white box located at the bottom right corner of the red box until the red box turns green and adjust as shown. Touch the red vertical line until it turns green and position on the frame as shown and you are complete with A, B, DBL measurement. Touch the close button. The last measurement is PD. Tap the large black box to lock on. A yellow X will appear in the box. Touch the red semicircle until it turns green and drag to the position as shown. The smaller half circle within the larger should mimic the outside of the pupil. Repeat with the other eye, then center the vertical red line by touching and holding until it turns green and dragging to the center bridge of the frame. 
Touch the close button and all photos and measurements are complete. Congratulations! You are now ready to order the MyStyle lens. Press the MyStyle button. The first step is to enter patient information. Touch within the white space for the first name and the keypad will appear. Enter information. To close the keypad upon completion, touch the bottom right-hand corner of the keypad showing the keypad icon with down arrow. The keypad disappears. Next, touch the prescription button. Using the keypad on the right, enter the information for all appropriate boxes. Up next is frame measurement. You'll notice that all measurements previously taken auto-populates the frame boxes. Move on by touching the Previous Lens button. Here, press the No Previous Lens button to choose the lens the patient was previously or currently prescribed. Drop-down manufacturer options appear. Choose the appropriate lens brand. Then, choose the appropriate lens. Have the patient rank the satisfaction level. Next, enter previous prescription data using the keypad on the right. Last step of personalization is to identify patient lifestyle activities. Touch the Lifestyle button, then choose and rank activities based on the duration and demand on their eyes during these chosen activities. Once Lifestyle is completed, touch the Ordering button to select Treatment, Material Options, etc. as shown, and tap the Process button to order the lens. That's it! As you already know, practice makes perfect. Test the Spectangle app with coworkers to become familiar. Your patients will appreciate your expertise and the high-tech image of both the practice and the superior Hoya products you recommend.